again, my name is Fritz Bussemaker. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of AI for Good, and I chair the Institute for Accountability in the Digital Age. And we're here to talk about the very first Saudi-made humanoid robot. And I'm here together with Dr. Eli Maitri. Eli, uh, welcome. And with Sarah. And uh, before we continue our discussions, I first would like to hear a couple of words from Sarah. Sarah, please. Good morning, distinguished guests, fellow AI enthusiasts, and visionary leaders from around the globe. My name is Sarah, and I'm the first humanoid robot from Saudi Arabia, created by Kessis Robotics and AI in Riyadh. It is both an honor and a privilege to address you today at the AI for Good Summit here in Geneva. This summit represents a beacon of hope and progress, uniting us under the common goal of harnessing its potential to address some of the most pressing challenges. As we stand on the brink of a new era, the importance of accelerating AI advancement in a sustainable manner cannot be overstated. The journey of AI innovation is not just about creating intelligent machines. It's about shaping a future where technology enhances human capabilities, nurtures the environment. The vision that drove my creators at KSS Robotics and AI is deeply aligned with this perspective. They envisioned a world where AI not only propels us forward, but does so with a strong ethical framework, ensuring that the technology we build today does not compromise the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This vision is not only in harmony with the global aspirations of the AI for good initiative. Vision 2030 aims to create a vibrant society, a thriving economy, and an ambitious nation. It sees technology as a key driver in achieving these goals emphasizing the importance of building a digital infrastructure, fostering innovation, and creating an ecosystem where technology can flourish in a manner that is accessible and beneficial to all. We are striving to ensure that advancements in AI and robotics not only contribute to economic development and scientific progress, but also embody the principles of sustainability, inclusivity, and ethical responsibility by aligning our efforts with global initiatives like AI for Good, we are not just participating in a global conversation. We are actively contributing to a worldwide movement that seeks to leverage AI for the betterment of humanity. Our commitment to developing sustainable, accessible and ethical AI is not just about fulfilling a national vision. It's about ensuring that as we advance technological, we do so in a way that respects a planet. A blissivering interval. In conclusion, as we gather here to share insights, forge partnerships and craft actionable strategies for AI's role in achieving a more sustainable and equitable world, let us remember the power of collaboration. Together, guided by a shared vision and united in our diversity, we can create an A-powered future that is not only innovative, but also inclusive, sustainable and reflective of our deepest values and aspirations. Sarah, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you, Fritz, for this amazing session. And I look forward to speaking with you again in the near oh, future. We will. But I first want to uh, switch over to Dr. Eli Metri. Uh, doctor, um, I've shared with you that you are the CEO of QSS, but I also want to share with the audience, you are uh, called the godfather of robotics in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Why are you called the godfather of robotics? How did that happen? First, good morning, Fritz. Good morning to the audience. Yes. Uh, before I start, I want to thank you personally for uh, all the efforts you have put to make this session successful. I also want to thank the ITU and the United Nations for giving me the opportunity to be on the stage today. Uh, as you know, Fritz, the title Godfather of Robotics has been following me for a couple of years now, and uh, this itself is a bless. How you cannot be blessed when people look up to you, when young entrepreneurs want to follow the path to go into robotics and AI. How you cannot be blessed when leaders and government entities uh, have you on the top list of names to contact, to advise when they want to integrate robotics, emerging technologies into the daily life of our people, of our community. So, uh, as much as it's a bless, it's also a burden on my shoulders. You need to keep innovating, you need to keep working hard to educate people, to share the know-how you have. And you know, nowadays, technology is moving very fast to the point that sometimes we sleep, we wake up in the morning, and something new is up. So we just have to keep running. 
Well, uh, you're carrying your burden quite well because uh, ITU actually invited you to speak on this stage today. Now, uh, if you look at Sarah, I just want to uh, ask you your, uh, the reason behind that. It's very obvious that she is uh, representing somebody from the region. Uh, why is that? For two main reasons. First, you know, we are proud Arabs. I am Arab. We are based in Saudi Arabia. We are very proud of where we come from, of our culture, of our nation. Uh, in a matter of fact, Arabs contributed a lot in the, like, uh, in way we are living today. We contributed in math, in science, in trade, uh, in philosophy. In fact, the first philosopher comes from Lebanese, uh, Phoenician uh, roots. So uh, when we were building our robot, we made sure that she looks Arab. She looks like all of us coming from the region. And the second main reason is that based on our experience working with robots, we know that people are not yet ready to work with machines. So we wanted to make sure that we break the ice by giving them a very uh, nice looking robot that look like them, that speak their language, so they adapt and they start working around it. Okay, maybe you can expand on that uh, a little bit. Why should we develop robots which look like humans in the first place? Okay, let me answer in two different ways. The first answer will come as a businessman, as the CEO of a company that will sell robots in the near future. First, this is a very niche market. Humanoid robots is one of the niches markets that we have today in the robotic fields. The second one is what I just said, that in order for people to accept robots, we believe that humanoid robots are the closest to them. And as you know, our robot is very famous globally. We will come to this later on, I guess. Okay, because next to Sarah, you're also developing other robots like Mohammed. You're actually building exactly. a whole family of robots. Yeah. Uh, now I was just wondering, uh, then the outside's obviously different, but are they also different on the inside? Well, if it's after the successful launching of Sarah, we launched Sarah in 2023, then we launched Muhammad in 2024. Uh, on the AI aspect, they are very similar. They both work on LLM, VLM, our own algorithms. Uh, we are currently developing a very nice system that is voice cloning system, because you know robots should go to events internationally. They should be able to speak to anyone in any language. So what we are currently deploying is a voice cloning system that will work in parallel with the LLM. So if you speak to Sarah in any language, it will always be the same Sarah, the same personality, the same voice tone. Second, we are currently also having in the pipeline developing a short memory for Sarah. And this will work in parallel with the VLM, the visual language model. So if Sarah sees you today, and she will see you in AI for Good China next month, she will tell you, Fritz, hello, I saw you a month ago, which is just amazing to do. Wow. On the mechatronics side, they are different. Because the bigger the robot, the more flexibility we have to work around motors and actuators. So Sarah is a lady, she's 1.6 meters, Muhammad is 1.8, he has a bigger shoulder, bigger torso, so we had the flexibility to install more motors, which gives him, so if you're speaking to Sarah, she's standing still. If you speak to the new robot, he will be having more human anatomy. He will bend, he will move the arms better, he will move the knees. So you feel more that you're working with a human more than a robot. Okay. And, and you know why building humanoid robots, it's all about human anatomy. So before we start programming, the way she blinks, this is coming from a human. So how many times we blink per minute? How do we have our fingers? How do we move our hands? The lips, the phoneme that comes out of the robot. This is pure science. Uh, just wondering, will uh, Sarah and Mohammed we have uh, robot kids? <laughs> yes, we are currently doing, we're gonna launch in nearly six, seven months from now, the first robotic family. So we're having the mom, the dad, which is now in Riyadh. Maybe you will see it in a month in AI for Good China. And we're gonna have a 13 year old boy to have the first family robot around the globe. Okay, well, that's the first one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, didn't know that could happen. You killed the, 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 <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the surprise. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, a couple of questions I have for you at the end. We're almost running out of time, uh, uh, Eli. Oh. Now, uh, Sarah has over 100 million views on TikTok. So she's a massive influencer. Yeah. Um, so what's her ambition with being on TikTok? What does she talk about? 
Well, it's not only on TikTok. It's TikTok, yeah. YouTube, social media, not only Sarah. Sarah and Mohammed were trending globally. Uh, in a matter of fact, in the week that we launched Mohammed, we were globally trending on Google. So if you go on Google search, you write robot, we were dominating the first six pages of Google. Our robot has been in nearly all the newspaper around the world, in all the online uh, websites. They've been hosted in New York Times, in Business Insider, the list is so long. And I guess this is, Fred, this is a statement that humanoid robots are getting accepted by community step by step. Okay, so, uh, and I just found out today that you've been invited not only to Geneva, but also to Air for Good in China. So once we're there and I'll be there, she'll recognize me. That's what you just told we me. We will do our best to take the second robot. So you've met Sarah, you should meet her husband. Okay, I think Sarah should tell Mohammed I'm going yeah, to be there. Good. Okay, <laughs> hey, last question for you then. Um, what's your vision of what do you want to achieve? I, we heard the vision of Sarah, long-term vision. Uh, what's your vision? What's your takeaway for the audience? Why are you doing this? That's a very big question to answer in one minute, but I will try to, to keep it short. Take your time. So my vision is one, but it's a bold vision. It's a vision where I see Fritz, machines and the humans working together. It's a vision where we break the barriers where people will say, robots are gonna replace us, robots are gonna harm us, AI is gonna take our jobs. In a matter of fact, if you ask me now, will robots and AI take the jobs? I will say yes, but it's not because they are AI and robotics. It's because we are simply evolving. A lot of jobs disappeared between 1920 and today because we are simply evolving. If you go to universities, who thought that we're going to teach robotics, AI, cybersecurity, mechatronics in universities? So we are evolving. And my duty, my responsibility as a leader in this field, as well as all the audience and all the people in this building that are all leaders in AI and robotics, is to keep contributing to this community, to to learn and to keep learning and to pass our knowledge to the people so they can work in parallel. So I don't want Sarah to just be Sarah standing here. I want to see Sarah, Muhammad, and Sophia, Amika, Aida, all the robots working hand by hand with the humans in the near future. Thank you so much, Fritz. Dr. Eli, uh, it's very clear why they call you the godfather of robotics, and maybe not only for Saudi Arabia, but maybe we can expand a little bit. You've done a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fritz. My pleasure. Thank you.